In order to add any kind of background music on a keynote presentation, what you have to do first is you have to download the music. The best place that I can think of to get free, copyright free music that you don't have to worry about breaking any laws is from bensound.com. You go to bensound.com and you can look at all the different songs they have. Some of them eventually you do have to pay for, but a lot of them are free. You find one that you like and you can listen to it with the play button or you can just hit download. And you can see here that they offer you this free with a license with attribution. So the only thing you have to do is give credit in whatever you're using it for where you got it. So you're going to have to include on your references slide this website. So you hit download and it will download right to your iPad. And then once that's done, you can go over to your slideshow. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the plus sign up at the top you're going to select insert from and you're going to see it should come up under your recents any sounds that you've downloaded so we're going to go ahead and tap on the sound that i want and it's going to insert this lovely speaker shape in order to make sure that it plays the way i want it to so that it doesn't get caught off cut off after the first slide i'm going to go ahead up while this is selected and active i'm going to go ahead up to the paintbrush at the top here and under here i can select loop which means it will play the whole way through my presentation. So if my presentation is a little longer than the song, it's okay because it'll just continue playing. I'm also going to leave it on play across slides so that I know it'll play in the background of everything. I'm gonna turn off start on tap, however, because if I'm gonna be exporting this as a video, I don't wanna to have to be tapping things in order to get it to start. It should just start automatically. So I turn that off and then it'll be ready to go. And I wanna make sure I test it out by hitting that play button right next to the paintbrush to make sure that it does play the way that I want it to with the animations, the transitions, and the music.